Savita and welcome to my sewing studio. In this video, I'll show you how to make a jacket like this, a shrug, which I call a waterfall jacket. And uh, for this, you would need a fabric which is stretchy, that is lycra or jersey fabric. And uh, you would need your basic pattern. Please refer to my previous video on how to draft the basic pattern. So let's start. So first, I'll show you how to do the pattern. If you have seen my previous video, you already know how to do a basic body block. So the back neck is just one inch deep and uh, I want my jacket only 23 inches long. So from starting from the shoulder line, mark 23 inches and you can cut the pattern at that marking. So you're shortening the pattern to the length you need. Now there won't be any front neck. Just mark one inch down for the back neck and no need to make front and back armhole because there is no sleeve attachment in this and also I don't want my shoulder to be this wide I'll reduce it but it's not a must you can uh, just go ahead with the basic pattern so I'll just mark around one inch in and then blend to the back armhole both back and front armhole will be cut as per the new marking I just made now again you can just retain the original pattern and just go ahead and do with that but I wanted this change to be made I want my shoulder of the jacket to end a little inside from my shoulder bone that's the reason I've reduced here and then first we'll be cutting only the back unlike we had done earlier we don't need four layers of fabric because we're not cutting the front and back together we'll be cutting only the back on fold front will be cut on open side because front of the jacket is open okay so first we'll cut only the back now i already have my pattern ready with all these changes so this is my pattern and this is the length i need now keep the center line of the pattern to the fold of the fabric and pin it in place now give appropriate seam allowance we don't need to give one inch because this is uh, we'll be giving a small seam that is just a half an inch extra is enough from the side of the pattern lower part if you want you can fold it half inch and half inch and then stitch or you can just leave it raw because the fabric won't fray. The fabric I'm using is a lycra or stretchy fabric, which is ideal for this jacket. And uh, you may need an approximate uh, one and quarter to one and a half meters, depending on the length of your jacket. Now I'll not give seam allowance at the armhole because I will leave it raw. I'm not going to finish the armhole with the folding or anything. Seam allowance only in the side seam and lower end also I'll not be giving any seam allowance because I'll be leaving it raw. Only at the shoulder part I'll be giving one centimeter like we normally do and just connect like that. And you can just trace the neck with the tracing wheel or I'll just connect the points so this is my back neck I've given the shoulder seam one centimeter here I'm just going to mark exact as per the pattern and in the sides I'll be marking half an inch extra from the pattern and the bottom I'm just marking exact as per the pattern so that's it now we'll be cutting the fabric I'm notching where we'll be starting to stitch in the side seam and at the waist. So this is my back. Now I'll show you how to cut the front, which is a little different for this jacket. So we'll keep this aside. 
now we'll be cutting the front part so fold the fabric um, width wise and we would need uh, more uh, fabric now I mean the width wise we would need more fabric now the pattern will be placed on the open side not on the folded side so two layers and uh, two open sides now take your tape from the edge measure around 8 or 9 inches and there you will be placing your pattern I will show you why we do this so just measure from the edge 8 inches all the way and on that marking you will keep the center of the pattern So this marking is 8 inches away from the edge. On that I am placing the pattern center and pin it in place. Now mark the outline. This is my shoulder. Give 1 cm for the shoulder. That is the seam allowance. Again, like I showed earlier, I'm not going to keep seam for the armhole because I'm not going to stitch it. In the sides, I'll be keeping half an inch extra for seam allowance. It's my waist marking. And so this is my shoulder point. Now, I'm not going to give any neck shape. Just draw a straight line all the way. till the edge and you will be cutting on this line now the lower part you can just cut it straight or you can draw a slant line again I'll explain why later so I am giving a little slant line so you will be starting from the side seam end that is where your back ended and from there just take a slight slanting line and cut on that line and then we'll be cutting on the seam allowance line and the armhole we'll be cutting that now I've kept half an inch seam like we did for the back in the sides and a notch at the waist a small notch at the chest line where we will start to stitch and that's it just remove the pins so this is my friend part it may look weird as of now but you will see why it is cut in this way so now next thing would be to attach the shoulders of back and front together so this is my back and take one of your friends right on right place it and attach at the shoulder at 1 cm seam allowance with 1 cm seam allowance and then Take the other front, and do the same, attach the shoulders. This is how it will be, just attach the shoulders at 1 cm seam allowance, I will show it now. Now I will be sewing the shoulder to attach the back and front together, I am placing the front and back right on right the wrong side is on top and I'll be sewing it one centimeter now ideally lycra fabric or stretchy fabrics I would sew in my five thread serger but um, all may not have that at home so I'm using a home sewing machine to show how to sew this as the fabric is stretchy you would need to use a zigzag stitch you can use either three 5, 12, 11, 18, any of them to sew the seams so that the stitches 
if it is zigzag it will stretch along with the fabric and the fabric will not lose its shape so I'll be using 18 so at one centimeter I'll be sewing So I've, uh, it may not be clearly visible because I've used a white thread and I put a zigzag stitch here. Why we use a zigzag stitch is, it stretches along with the fabric. Now if you had used a straight stitch, as you stretch the fabric, it may break, the stitches may break. So if you do not have this uh, machine and if you are using a manual machine and if you are using only straight stitches, slightly pull the fabric, stretch the fabric and then put the stitch. Straight uh, stitch is not perfect uh, for lycra fabric but it will serve your purpose so if you don't have you can just give it a try in your straight sewing machine also straight stitches in your manual sewing machine. So I'll be doing the same uh, zigzag stitch for the other shoulder and the side seams and I'll show you how it looks. This is the other shoulder I'm stitching. Now shoulders are done, I am stitching the side seams at half an inch, match the notches of back and front. Line the sides together. Put a zigzag stitch at uh, half an inch from the edge. Once the stitch is done, you can just trim off the excess fabric if you want to, so that it looks neater. So I'll do the same for the other side. So we are done with the sewing and this is how it looks. If you remember when we cut the front uh, part of the dress, we kept the pattern 8 inches away from the edge of the fabric. Why we did that was for this fall. So if your pattern center was this, we kept it away 8 inches so that we get this fall. You can keep it more away from the edge of the fabric if you want the fall to be even lower. And in the pattern if you remember front when we cut, we cut it in a slant shape that is front or hemline, we had cut it in a slant way that is because to get this excess, that's the reason we did. And I've just tied a band here and in this I've just tied the fabric so you can use it either ways or you can just leave it open. Thank you for watching this video and hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and happy sewing.